So hello my dear Brudas and I want to say that we are playing Kaiser Redux again and I'm really glad to play it. So at first I wanted to record a left commentan with Chanka Shek and his great comeback as a leader of the totalist left commentan and after that Republic of China. But my campaign didn't go well so I decided no I I, I won't record today. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. We will leave this interesting story which is going to be related with kinda interesting island in the east. Yeah, we're talking about Taiwan. Aggression. Winnie Pooh. Microchips. So today's campaign is just improvisation. I saw the focus tree line, one focus tree line in Almighty Dawn Host and I understood that holy shit, we need to record this campaign and it's gonna be great. So trust me brothers, today we will liberate Russia. Starting from the Almighty Don Host. But it won't be a Cossack Russia. No. So, without further interruption, let's start our campaign. And as always, enjoy! So yeah, the Almighty Don Host. Our state was created during the Russian Civil War in 1918 by Ottoman Pyotr Krasnov. After that we have survived the Russian Civil War, but the situation in Russia isn't good as you can see, cause Russia didn't unite after the Civil War, so now we need to do it. Not stupid Russian Republic, fake Russian state. And oh my god, just look at this huge focus tree line for such a minor state as a Don Kazak Union. Holy shit. But today we will play just as Vlasov and his political focus tree line. Why did I choose it? You know, cause I saw solitarists and their pass and I thought, man, I need to do it. I, I, I need to do this shit. Well, shit happens and Halmeke succeeds, but we will uh, destroy them. Traitors. They shall feel our wrath. Goodbye, Kalmykia. You won't be an independent state. And with our Cossack divisions, I think that it will be kinda easy. You'll see why. Wow, we have even prevented the horrors of the socialism in Kalmykia. By the way, we will just annex them and integrate to our state. And man, I love this sound. Just listen to them. And also we need to choose our future anti-Krasnov coup. Krasnov is killed in the chaos. We need to choose this option if you want to play the same campaign. And in the next event, which will uh, you see in a week after the death of the Krasno, you need to choose the third option. Vlasov manages to overpower socialists and Russophiles. And boom, now you are the Russian Liberation Committee and it's only April 1936. And the first uh, focus is gonna be the Rostov Manifesto with a pretty simple icon, but it looks stylish. And no, we won't give uh, Cossacks any autonomy, we will sideline the Cossacks. Cause I don't see any reason to give them autonomy, especially in a small state as ours. Plus, those Cossacks don't want to build a Russia, they just want to build a Cossack state. And that's not good for us. So for the Our Future Glory, look what did I do. I have created Kazachia Pichotnia Divizia, or Kazachia Infantry Division. Man, I love these dudes, I love Kuban's Kazakh, cause they have decided to reintegrate with us. What about Mountain dudes? They are stupid cause they have rejected our ultimatum. I hope that Mountain General isn't here, cause if he is here, we must destroy him. But I think that he is hiding somewhere in Kingdom of Hungary, probably in Slovakian mountains. Man, that was way too easy to broke them, cause we just used the warm tactic when we push a lot of uh, divisions of our army into deeps of the territories and just boom, we have captured all cities and have destroyed no forces. And of course, they must be punished for their rejection to join us. 
taking notes from solidarism. Man, <laughs> it looks epic. You know, this combination of Ukraine and Russia, it looks cool. We solved the economy, we just solved it. We don't need to fix it, we don't need to reform it, we just solved it. You know, it reminds me of the Belarus with Alexander Lukashenko in this year. It was probably October or November 2022 when he banned the price growth. When he said, if someone grows the price, he will go to the jail. Maybe we'll have the same situation in Russian Liberation Committee. You know, it is based choice. If you can't deal with something, you need to ban it. You know, guys, why am I not surprised? The country is thrown into chaos because Russia wants to annex us and also Georgia is their puppet. That's not good. So if we want to make something great, if we want to destroy those fake republic, those stupid republic, we need to get minus 60% of stability and start the war against them. We're crazy, so we will do it. At least we've got enough divisions on our front line and uh, their design is pretty good, so I think that we can handle Russian forces. And yeah, they have called Georgia, and now we have to deal with them too. Nice, Georgia has capitulated, so we have liberated all those lands, and now Georgia is under our control. Now we just need to defend our territories from stupid Russians. So you actually remember that we have destroyed Georgia, and it was successfully, yeah? Yeah. But don't think that Russians are stupid, because th they have sought a little bit and understood that holy shit we need to invite armenia to our alliance and now these two divisions will go and destroy armenia at least they have got two two divisions now when you are prepared to fight with russians it's going good enough because we have captured volgograd commission and it's august 1979 i think that in the next year we are going to celebrate our victory now I've got more than 40 divisions, and in the next year, next, and in the next year we're going to have 70 plus divisions in our army of Russian Liberation Committee. Oh, well, that's my first encirclement in September 1939, minus two divisions of Russian Republic. Dude, that's insane, we will even destroy the tank division in Russian army. Nice, it's minus nine divisions. And also I'm trying to create a natural border by rivers. My main goal is just to create a border by these rivers, so it need to be something like this. You can actually see that I control the main supply hubs in this region, and our next goal is to control those supply hub regions to take Moscow, and plus we need to take some of these too, cause our divisions right here, they are actually suffering. But you know, that's not the main problem. The main problem is that, oh my god, they have finally capitulated, it's February 1941, and we did it. Plus Georgia has capitulated, so we are going to take two states in one time. And now we have to deal with Armenia and Iran. You know why do I hate Bulgaria? Okay, bro, we still got war with you, but I won't touch you. But this dude thought, no, it's gonna be boring. So they have decided to join Italian alliance, and that's not good for me, because now I'm in war with Italy, and Italy can leave this uh, alliance in the future, probably join the Rex Pact, and that's gonna be bad for me. So I need to deal as fast as I can, and as fast as I can prepare to the new war. In almost all Iranian forces are going to die in this pocket in Stavropol. Jesus, oh my god, they have decided to declare war on me. It's Siberian Federation. So after searching last focus, we have changed our name to the Russian National Republic, and now we've got a normal Russian flag. After that, we need to get rid of all debuffs that we got from the last focus. Let's build a new bureaucracy. We've got a question of our capital, and I think that we need to move our capital to the Moscow. Moving to Moscow. And oh shit, I forgot that we have a war with a Norway too, so we need to destroy Norway as well. Finally, minus Iran. 
And this is the fate of the Middle East, so I was kind, I gave a lot of lands to the Turkey, plus I have released Iraq and Iran, and Transcaucasian lands were annexed by me. Finally, my favorite part, trials, Tambov trial, and what do I think about these trials? We must punish those who want the Rodina. Birth of United Russia. It's not United Russia that we have right now with Vladimir Putin. No, 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 no. It's United Russia of Andrei Vlasov. For fatherland and unity. And for this cool bear with Russia. And as I said before, we will choose the third option, a Lady Solitarist, cause I like this icon a lot. And I would like to see this pass, cause Federation pass we will leave for another campaign as well as veterans. Today we choose the Solidarists. The doctrine of the Solidarists has recently enticed Vlasov, so bringing those that align to their ideals closer to our organization might be a sound strategy for gaining key political allies in cementing our order. This icon looks epic, you know, we don't need eagle anymore, we need trident. Minus another one fake Russian state. So today we have destroyed two fake Russian states and now Russia is going to be finally reunited in the end of the 1941. Finally we did it. 19th of December 1941 Vlasov unites Russia under his control. And he is going to become a new Russian warst who will unite not only Russian lands, not only main Russian lands, but he will go to the west to unite Russian Empire lands in one state. But in today's campaign we won't capture the whole Eurasia, cause I left this scenario to the other video with other thumbnail. It's gonna be Russian campaign, it's gonna be epic Russian campaign, but I'll do it a little bit later. Now we'll just have a fun as the Russian National Republic. And the final epic event, Rise of the Blue Washed. God nation labor and also now we are going to be the national populists wow well they have fucked me up cause just look at this now we are not republic now we are the russian national state holy shit this color looks so cool deep dark blue color man i love it i have never seen blue russia blue wars blue russia that's awesome that, that that's just awesome also now we got the new flag with trident an eagle like, other options can give you probably the social democracy, yeah, the social democracy, and the ally with the veterans probably give you the social conservatism. You know, it reminds me something about the Savinkov's Russia, but in the better way. So now we are just not the Russian state with a cringy NRPR, now we are Russian national state with Yedina Russia in government, and the same national populist party rules Russia. You can see this epic icon of bear, and bear is back. We will reclaim our lands. Jesus, man, I can't push it because I need to be in a peace, but I'm not in peace because you see those cringe dudes in the Balkans and in Italy. Fuck all of them. At least I can create my own alliance, so let's do it. Whoa, and, and this name I haven't seen before. We will create Axis of Liberated Peoples. Just look at this amount of allies around the world, but our alliance is the most based one in the map. Midas Ich Mongol Uls and Minus Afghanistan. So I think now it's the right time to crush the Rex Pact in July 1943. But before that let's destroy Estonia and Latvia cause I don't have option to destroy them now so let's just declare war on them and fast annex them. Cause I can't watch on lips that I can't kiss. So the final war is here and I think that in a month or even in a less than a month we can capture Kyiv and Minsk. Now it's 30 of August so by the end of the September Ukraine and Belarus must capitulate. So it has gone a month and as I promised we have capitulated Belarus but we didn't capture Ukraine by this moment, we are still fighting for Kyiv and the right bank of Dnieper, but left bank of Dnieper is fully captured by our forces. 
Okay, guys, now we have the partition of the Reichspakt, even with Germany, so let's do this partition. So that's it, that's the partition of the Reichspakt, and you can see that we have a natural border by Rhine River with uh, Camino France. I don't know why, but Serbia, Romania and Poland have capitulated without Italian Federation, so we will take only them. And after that we will deal with Italian Federation, cause it's close to capitulation too. And finally, all funny dudes has capitulated and we are going to decide the near future. I won't uh, even take any Italian lands, cause I don't give a fuck about them. We will let Socialist Republic of Italy reunify. But Balkans, they are gonna be mine without any questions. Man, that was sick, so we have divided Balkans in the way that we need and just look at this sphere of influence by September 1944. And I think that it was good enough for just the Dawn State at the beginning and now it's some type of Russian Empire in the end with this great sphere of influence. And the great conquering of the whole Eurasia we will leave to the other campaign.